When Nancy Grace Roman was a girl in Nevada, the night skies were dark and clear, perfect for stargazing. Probably between fifth and sixth grade, I organized my friends into a club that met once a week to study the constellations. Fascinated with the stars, Nancy Grace always wanted to be an astronomer. That may seem reasonable to you, but back then, it was very unusual for a girl to want to be a scientist. Well, I've had my year of general science, and I see no reason why I should take another course next year when I'm a senior. I don't want to be a scientist. Oh, uh, she just wants to hook some guy. All right, so I want to get married and have a family. Is there anything wrong with that? Nothing, except your idea that you'll never need science to keep house. My high school guidance teacher, when I went to her and said I'd like to take a second year of algebra instead of a fifth year of Latin, looked down her nose at me and asked, what lady would take mathematics instead of Latin? Nancy Grace became an astronomer, but in those days, women scientists did not have the same opportunities or job security as men. I was actually an instructor and an assistant professor at the University of Chicago. But I realized I had no chance of tenure. I didn't know of any woman who had tenure in a research observatory. About the time the space program got underway, Nancy Grace went to work for NASA, where she helped launch satellites called observatories to study the stars and the sun. The Orbiting Astronomical Observatory's primary mission was to get ultraviolet observations of the stars. It could not be done from the ground because the atmosphere cuts off this radiation. Ultraviolet pictures taken by these observatories showed scientists energy we can't see with our eyes. These images helped them to figure out the chemical makeup of the sun and the stars. Not only that, Nancy Grace helped to get the most famous observatory of them all into space, the Hubble Space Telescope, an ambitious project. She worked to get the funding from Congress and gathered scientists and engineers together to design and build the Hubble. The Hubble was finally launched in 1990. The Hubble has captured some of the most extraordinary images of our universe ever seen. We can see nebula where stars are born or die, the remnants of a violent supernova, energy from a mysterious star, galaxies that are barely visible from Earth, and galaxies so far away we never even knew they existed until a time-lapse shot from the Hubble Space Telescope revealed them. When Nancy Grace looks back on her decision to take her first job at NASA, she realizes she was a bit nervous. But I thought the challenge of starting with a clean slate and mapping out a program that I believed would influence astronomy for 50 years was just more than I could resist. From a little girl who loved to look at stars to a woman who helped launch the Hubble Space Telescope, Nancy Grace Roman is a true pioneer. <laughs>